now we're looking at the sterling versus the US dollar. And as you can see, we have been on the last two weeks on a downward trend. And this is just a continuation of a long term downward trend that has been going on uh, since um, 2015, there are about. So the coronavirus has just um, increased the downward directory of the uh, sterling. Um, so there's a lot of problems with the uh, British economy. Uh, the coronavirus is just one factor. Um, in the long run, uh, Britain has to deal with um, the Brexit situation. And uh, that is something that is going to affect the sterling significantly in the future. Um, and the dollar will most likely um, get stronger uh, because the U.S. economy will bounce back sooner than the uh, British economy. So at the moment, we are nearly touching the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. And uh, it will most likely hit this uh, level here. We may see a bounce uh, before uh, we uh, go down to the 50. Uh, if we do so, we will most likely um, uh, uh, test uh, the 12, 17 level or maybe hit the 50 uh, moving average. Uh, that is probably too bullish. Uh, the most likely scenario is that we'll go back to 12, uh, 15, and then continue uh, downwards to the 50% uh, Fibonacci retracement. And um, in the long run, we will uh, most likely also hit the 61.8%. Uh, and if nothing changes, uh, we will most likely retest these low levels again before we um, see any significant bounce. Thank you very much.